Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. And unfortunately, there is another potential tropical system forming near Mexico. We'll talk about that coming up in just a few minutes. First, though, just some beautiful weather around here. A warmer stretch takes over. We're talking about temperatures into the upper 70s, perhaps a few low 80s showing up both on today and tomorrow. Now, as we head into the weekend, we're looking at a dry Saturday day. And the reason I put day in all caps is because it's not until night where the best chance of showers will arrive. So during the day on Saturday, probably some increase in clouds, but most of your day should remain rain free for all of those outdoor activities. Speaking of outdoor activities, we have the CVS Caremark 5K going on Sunday morning. Now, even though there will be a chance of some showers, the timing could change. We could get a lot of the rain falling right before or right after the race. So don't get too disappointed as you look at these forecasts heading into Sunday morning. We will monitor it and keep you updated on that. And I'll tell you what, it's better than scorching hot temperatures to run that 5K. It does look like it'll be uh, nice and cool for running that race. We go outside right now. We have blue skies overhead. Temperature right now is uh, 75 in Providence. Pawtucket, 72 degrees. Newport, you're at 70. And I wouldn't be surprised if Newport stays in the low 70s and even goes back into the upper 60s for a good part of the afternoon. That's because you can see these winds right now are variable at three miles an hour. But we are starting to see some signs that winds are shifting to the south as a bit of a sea breeze takes over. You can see New Bedford, they're out of the south right now at three miles an hour. Inland spots should continue to rise another few degrees into the upper 70s. And again, a few low 80s are possible. High pressure in control. You can see it protects us from most of the clouds and the showers for the next couple days. Eventually the clouds and some showers win out, especially Saturday night into Sunday morning. Temperatures today inland will go uh, mid to upper 70s again at the coast because of some of these onshore breezes, upper 60s to low 70s. Tonight temperatures dipping into the uh, low 60s to upper 50s by around 11 o'clock and then for early morning temperatures tomorrow, you know, not that chilly for this time of year. I wouldn't be surprised if some of our outlying suburbs are in the 40s, but most of us should stay in the low 50s. All right, we're talking about the tropics. Here is Humberto. Humberto expected to continue to drift out to sea, not a threat to the United States. Let's us swing further down to the south, and we have a couple of disturbances. There is one we'll watch that's approaching the Bahamas. Here's another one. This one is actually hugging the coast of Mexico right now in the Gulf of Mexico, and this has a decent chance of turning into a tropical system over the next couple days. Exactly what they don't need, given all the recent storms and mudslides they've had out there. All right, if you're interested in dew points, you'll be interested in this map. Today, not really a factor. Tomorrow, increasing with the dew points a little bit. And then Saturday, dew points in the upper 50s to low 60s. Certainly not that uncomfortable, but you will notice a bit more humid conditions by the weekend. Seven day futurecast brings in, again, some likely showers Saturday night into Sunday. And then Monday, we're back to fall. In fact, Sunday, the first official day of fall, it comes in during the afternoon and feeling more like fall Monday and Tuesday temperatures in the upper 60s, but just beautiful for the next couple of days. All right, we'll enjoy it. Thanks, Pete. Yep. Now